this country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the money. That's why you gotta make your own moves. What's happening, YouTube? All right, baby, milestones, milestones, milestones. Go, go to work, sir. Show them what you got, baby. Show them what you got. Show them what you got. Go. Go up there. Y'all make sure y'all clap, man. My son, he making development moves, and uh, cheer him on right now. Up, show them some skills, man. Show them some skills, man. Go. Show them some skills. Okay. All right, baby. Real quick, like. All right, baby. But we finna slide to the pool and see what things looking like, man. Hey, what's up, bro? Texas heat, Texas vibes, man. It's about 101 degrees outside right now. Our pool's so lit. Our pool is turned over here. Look. Ooh. As soon as I get to the pool, I gotta tell y'all a crazy story about having pets in prison. So a lot of people don't know that there's a lot of pets in prison. When you say pets, yes, goldfish, cats, dogs, all that shit is in prison too, man. Crazy, crazy. Come on. Yeah. So these are pool vibes right now, man. Good vibes. How y'all doing? Got Seth on deck. All right, I'm finna post right here and tell y'all this quick little old prison story. Boom. When I hear prison, I'm thinking like, shit, the only thing that could be in a cell with you is another human being, but that's not the case, you feel me? It's a lot of guys um, that go to like segregation or a lot of guys that end up getting um, single cell by themselves. And to deal with that sanity, to deal with that single cell by themselves, they, uh, end up getting like a pet or some shit. You be like, how? On most units, whenever they done, or we done feeding or done eating, they'll either throw the food out and the food will either go uh, get ate by the cats or the food will get ate by some kind of rodent, some kind of animal, some kind of thing. It uh, draws attention to the unit. So you'll have all kinds of stuff coming in. You'll have birds, you'll have, man, hold on, let me get my sunglasses. Okay, boom, prison, there's gonna be cats running all up and throughout that bitch, you feel me? And, so, some of them cats be like newborns, newborn kittens, stuff like that. So the guys that get lonely, sometimes they'll grab a small kitten or something like that and bring it in their cell. But what they, the reason they really attracted or come all the time is because the unit always feeds them. And when anytime you feeding somebody or anything, that's where they know to, to get their food from, you feel me? Same thing with the cats. So a lot of units carry cats. Um, because one, a lot of units have rats. Anywhere you got rats, you need cats. <laughs> no bullshit, man. No bullshit, I got rat stories too from uh, rats coming in your locker. And the fucked up thing about the rats, man, they'll take one bite of your whole pack of cookies, man, or one bite of your whole motherfucking chips, or one bite of your whole soup, and you gotta throw it away because rats are disease infected. You be like, dang, you go in your locker, find out like, oh, they done took a chunk, you know what I mean? But you gotta take that L, cause you don't wanna... Some people will chalk it up as a loss, or they'll be like, shit, I'm still finna cook this, or I'm still finna eat this, to each his own, you feel me? All right. So, but, but back to what I was saying, so when the units end up throwing out a lot of food, they feed all kind of rodents, all kind of animals, stuff like that. So, strictly on Coldfield, there's a lot of cats. When I say a lot of cats, meaning they reproduce after reproduce after reproduce, there's a cat problem. There's also a rat problem. So, four or five thousand man unit, you're gonna have a lot of cats. So, 
in population, most of these guys, I mean, in segregation or back there on P, I think it was P1, P2. So in segregation or P1, P2, that's where like lock up, single cell, stuff like that is in. You'll see most guys down there with a, uh, uh, some kind of pet, some kind of animal to help them stay sane. How do they get the cat? So this is how they get the cat. So Cofield is known as the glass house. Glass house means this whole thing is glass. Pretty much the whole unit is made with we steel bar and glass, little glass pamphlets that you can break but you can't get through. So pretty much the whole unit you can see inside of, they call it the glass house. But you can't get out these windows, but little things can get in these windows. So if a window gets broke or something, so if a window gets broke or, if a window gets broke or something, a cat, a bird, um, a lizard, a rat, or any other kind of rodent can come in and most of them guys end up kidnapping them kidnapping the cats or the pets or any kind of animal shit, especially the guys that's um, in a cell 24 hours a day. When I say in a cell 24 hours a day, there ain't no being released. There ain't no, uh, there ain't no sanity as far as somebody to talk to or someone to relate to or someone to um, just chill, chop it up with. So a lot of guys end up kidnapping these animals or these rodents and they keep them in their cell. Guys end up taking a box, a blanket, or whatever, and they end up feeding their cat or their animal in their cell the whole time, you feel me? But it's just crazy, man. Uh, when I say feed them, I mean, like, they go to commissary, they'll buy tuna fish, they'll go to commissary, they'll buy mackerel, and they'll feed them tuna, mackerel, stuff like that. And shit, they'll communicate with their cat, they'll raise their cat pretty much the whole time. And so what happens, what happens when the guard come through, shake your cell down, find a cat in there? Majority of the time on Kofi, if they shake your cell down, find a cat in there, it depends on what guards you got. The majority of them just kind of get the cat, kick them back out to the world, that type of thing. But you are subject to a disciplinary case if they want to. And I believe that disciplinary case goes major for the simple fact it's an animal inside your cell, a bunch of stuff. I don't know what happened, so I'm not gonna here put an address on it or call it, you feel me? Because I never had any animals and I never seen anybody that got caught um with the animal that got rolled up i've seen plenty of people get caught with cats um rodents stuff like that but they usually just let them let the animal go back to the uh to the world you feel me but it's just crazy man the things guys resort to for companionship or resort to for some other kind of you know soul man which is really really crazy but a lot of guys man have pets and believe it or not some of these guys in lock up or seg have that same kitten or that same cat for two three four five six years raising them and sometimes they'll have to get shipped off to another unit you can't take this animal with you so all this animal know is pretty much being nurtured uh pretty much know is being nurtured by you you feel me when i say nurtured by you I mean you feed them take care of them everything but when the prison kick them back out there to the streets now they out here with all the rest of these animals you feel me? it's crazy though but yes guys do have pets um in prison all kind of pets man i never had a pet never would it just ain't my style you feel me but just a real quick video for y'all, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with another video with Sock, man. We at the pool, pool vibes, chilling, posted.